Being productive and efficient is not just about your attitude. A lot of it, like I've said on this channel before, is about your environment as well. And entering university is a really cool opportunity because you get to redesign your, your environment, maybe for the first time in your life, from scratch. You get to make the environment that you're gonna thrive in. And as someone who had some success with this over the past year, I figured I'd share my tips with you so that you can get off to a great start if you're starting university in the fall, or maybe you're moving for some other reason. And before I get started sharing my tips, I'd just like to thank JCPenney for sponsoring this video, but more on them at the end. So generally speaking, dorm rooms are small and shared spaces where you do a lot of very different activities. You know, they're the hub of college life. You study, you sleep, you socialize, you do all sorts of things in your dorm room. And I found it useful to just be a little bit mindful about where in my room I'm going to be doing different activities. So to give an example about why this is kind of important, I've had friends in the past who will read their, their books for school in bed. And then later they'll complain about not having retained the information or, or not being able to, to focus on the readings. And it's like, well, of course right? You're reading in bed and you're trying to read nonfiction it's for a class. It's not going to work as well. And so just be a little bit mindful. And obviously it's a small space, so there's going to be overlap and you can't be rigid about it or anything like that because you're doing a ton in your dorm room. But just be, just be mindful, you know, have a little area for, for doing work. That's my desk, your bed, a separate area, you know, maybe have an area for socializing, chairs, stuff like that. Just Think about where the activities that you're going to be doing on an everyday basis will take place. And it'll help you later on when you're actually trying to, you know, get on your grind or you're trying to relax and fall asleep. Separation of activities based on location, pretty useful. In my opinion, the best spaces are the ones which evolve over time as you evolve over time. If you look at my dorm room at the end of the year versus the start of the year, they look like two completely different rooms. And so what I'd advise you to do is just run experiments, try something out. And if you like it, keep doing it. And if you don't like it, change it. So here's a list of little experiments that I ran that worked for me that I enjoy. I tried using an oil diffuser, an essential oil diffuser, which did a few things. Uh, it got some cool ambient smells going, cool ambient light. Uh, and also provided a little bit of humidity, which was kind of key during the winter months when things got really dry. Not a ton, but when you're in a small dorm room, you don't need a lot. Audio is another fun thing to experiment with. For me, I just had a little Bluetooth speaker that I would play white noise on when I was trying to sleep, which is really useful in college when people are partying and you're trying to sleep. And I would listen to music if I had people over, or if I just wanted to have music on in the background. I use a little Bluetooth speaker, like I said, but some people go all out and buy really fancy speaker systems, whatever works for you, whatever suits your purposes. Having an audio setup is really nice. Having a kettle and a water jug for me were really key because to actually get water to fill up your water bottle is like a walk down the hallway, which doesn't sound like a lot, but when you're a lazy college student or you're in the middle of studying, you don't really want to be trekking down the hallway every half an hour or whatever. So uh, for me, I got a kettle and a water jug and it worked out really well. As a tea and coffee addict as well, the kettle was pretty clutch. So definitely recommend bringing those along. So the final thing that I tried that I would recommend to, to everyone, if you're going to be sleeping on a university issued mattress, get a memory foam pad. They're pretty cheap. You can get them for like 20 or 30 bucks and it, they make a world of a difference. If you're going to be sleeping on this bed all year long, it's a, definitely a worthwhile investment that you're not getting poked by, by mattresses, whatever. It's hard enough to sleep in college as it is. <music> Finally, since your dorm room is probably going to be small, it's important that everything there has a purpose. And sometimes this purpose is just to look nice. I mean, I put a tapestry on my wall because it's just my favorite piece of art. But don't fill your space with things that you don't need. My favorite thing to do when, when designing a space is to decorate with things that have form but also have function. I mean, I use coffee, tea, books, things that are, you know, pretty aesthetic. but 
Also, I use on an everyday basis. So I'm not saying you should go minimalist or anything like that, but just be mindful of designing for things that have both function and form. And finally, take your time with this. Enjoy decorating your room. It's a fun process. It's cool to, to make an environment where you're gonna be thriving in. And if you need a great place that has dorm room decorations with both function and form, you don't need to look any further than the sponsor of this video, JCPenney. JCPenney has an amazing collection of dorm room items online and in store, so be sure to check them out with the link in my description. For example, check out this awesome desk lamp that they sent me. It's got both form and function. It'll be a great addition to my dorm room in the fall. And if you end up going to JCPenney and getting something for your dorm room, send me some pictures using the hashtag MyJCP on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. I'd love to see what you do with your space. Thank you so much for watching. I'm John Fish. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next week.